in Devil May Cry 5 uh, with Virgil. Uh, I'm only going to do it on normal mode. I don't know how many parts this is going to be, but without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and get into it. I'm going to try and keep these to be about 30 minutes each. If I go a little bit over that because of cutscenes and shit, well, whatever I do, so... Let's go to... I think it's main menu, yeah. That's what I gotta do. <clears throat> Alright. So let's go... Uh, I think there's only one mission in this that I haven't gotten an S on. I think it's... Yeah, the final Dante fight. Alright, start up prologue. Hopefully the audio is somewhat clear in this. <clears throat> I had to turn it down earlier. If I have to lower it again, that's fine. Alrighty, and we begin. So, this first fight, for those of you who are un unaware, you're technically supposed to lose it. I'm not running Super Virgil, I'm gonna use Legit One. Alright, Prologue. So I don't know if I'm gonna just straight up let him kill me to get through it quicker. I probably will, to be completely honest. You can technically beat him and get uh, like a secret ending or whatever, but for the sake or for the purpose of this, I'm not going to be doing that. <clears throat> Alrighty. I gotta, I gotta fucking turn that down again. God damn, that's really loud. That is not what I meant. Actually, that is what I meant to do. I'll have to watch this back later and see if the uh, audio is good or not, but I don't know. If it is, then I'll leave it. If it's not, I'll change it again. <clears throat> Alright. So there is a mechanic in this game with Virgil, it's the focus gauge that you can see filling up in the top left hand corner there. 
Uh, gives weapons more combos, increased damage, stuff like that. If you get hit at any point, you lose, if not all of it, a lot of it, so... Alright, cool. Alright, sweet. <clears throat> That is not what I meant to do. Alright, that was bad, but whatever. It's been a hot minute since I've played this, so I might be a bit rusty, but whatever. Not what I meant to do. So I'm gonna let this guy kill me just to get through it a bit quicker. Come on dude, hurry the fuck up. Kill me already, fuck. Fucking finally. Christ on a bicycle. But yeah, you're technically supposed to lose that fight. It's unwinnable. Well, you can win it, but you're not supposed to. <clears throat> Alright, and we move on. I'm gonna have to monitor the time on this stream. I don't want it to go too, too far over. We should be able to beat the next level, though. It's not that long. <clears throat> Good old loading screens, holy fuck. <clears throat> and for those who uh, are wondering what difficulty this is, uh, it's only on normal mode. I could have done it on- oh shit. I could have done it on a harder mode. This is still way too loud. Holy fuck. Alright. It's probably better. Come on, motherfucker. Oh, 
Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, good shit. Oh my fucking god, dude. See if I can do There we go. Not like I need the orbs, but whatever. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and get uh a decent score on this boss fight, but there's no guarantee that's going to happen. Boss is dead. Yeah, and that's the entirety of that mission done. I'm trying to remember what the next boss fight is, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. We shall figure that out in due time. should probably go over a couple of the mechanics for Virgil. Uh, the one that it's showing there on the tip screen, you can summon a clone which basically mimics your every move, and if I'm not mistaken, it can only use Yamato's move set. So let's say you're using Beowulf, and you input, I don't know, well I know Beowulf's 13 kick is that, but I'm pretty sure the clone will end up doing this. Although I could be entirely incorrect in saying that. Actually, I don't know if it can actually use that attack. But yeah. Just something to keep note of, I guess. Let's go ahead and pop some balloons. Why not? God damn it. Alright, sweet. Alright, let's actually use the uh, the clone here, why not? I'm going to wait until my uh, focus gets to 3 though. Alright, there we go, should be fine. to do, but okay. There we go. <clears throat> I think the last time I played this, I was running Super Virgil, and if you're running Super, you can basically spam shit without any, uh, without any, um, drawbacks to your focus. Oh, 
sweet. Uh, another mechanic. Oh shit. I should probably do this first. Oh my god, what am I doing? Alright, there we go. Uh, okay, so I should explain this. Uh, you'll see just below the health bar there's like a, um, a black bar. Holding L1 will recharge that, or charge it, I should say. Uh, below that is your sin double trigger, or no. I got that completely backwards. So the blue one is sin devil trigger, below it is devil trigger. Again, someone can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that, but you use one to recharge the other, and the one on the bottom is used for clone. And I think you need three at least to use it, so... <clears throat> God damn it. Alright, well. My timing on fucking judgment cut is a little bit off today. God damn. Uh, one thing as well, I'm not going to be doing... Not going to be doing, like, all secret missions. Uh... Those are annoying as fuck, or at least some of them are. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and collect this gross thing. Oh shit, I have to check something, sorry guys. Alright, never mind, we're good. Let's go ahead and use it on that. Uh, shit. I think there's... no, I'm thinking of the wrong place. Never mind. <clears throat> That's the one I was thinking of. Alright. Alright, cool, cool, cool. And we move. That's not the right way. What the fuck am I doing? It's gonna be a lot of that. Holy fuck. Not going that way. This is what we want. Oh, fuck sakes. Go to hell. It's over. finished. I think the one thing I like more more so about Virgil than the other characters is how agile he is. But I mean, if you're not experienced with him, that can also work in your uh, downfall. Because you kind of have to be very careful during encounters. Because if you're running, like, Focus 3 and you get hit, you go all the way back down to no focus and your damage is heavily nerfed. <clears throat> On top of your combo strings being shortened, but I guess that's one and the same. There's a little uh, bit of a thing here that I like to do. It's stupid, pointless, and serves literally no purpose, but I do it anyways. Yeah. 
Oh shit, there is an invisible wall there. Fuck. Alright, never mind. <clears throat> Thought you'd actually be able to get on top of that, but apparently not. Not that it would serve any purpose or anything, but... It'd be pretty interesting to see nonetheless. There is actually a fight skip here that I'm going to show you guys once I get to it. I'm pretty sure you can do it with the other characters too, but... Don't quote me on that, because I'm not really experienced with the other three. Alright, so normally what would happen here is there's a bit of ground. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it. There's like a crack there. You walk on it, you fall down, and then you have to fight a new enemy type. But you act, you can actually skip it entirely by judgment cut ending over it. Or not ending, sorry. Just judgment cut spamming over it, so... There you go, and you don't have to fight him. Uh, not that it would be difficult or anything, but yeah. Just a little bit of a trick. Uh, oh shit, I know what boss I have to fight now. Okay, never mind. I gotta fight the big old gorilla. This guy can be a pain. He's definitely not one of the harder bosses. He's pretty fucking easy to kill, but getting triple S no damage is kind of annoying because he can do some really big AoEs. One of them. There we go. by that. Oh my god, did he hit me with that? No, he didn't. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Alright, cool. No damage, triple S. Let's -a go. Believe me, not all boss fights are going to be like that. I will actually be getting hit by a couple of them. Alrighty. Another S rank. Alright, so we're currently at the... Let's see here. We're at the 23 minute mark. I'm going to do this last mission and then probably cut it there. I'm going to try to get a part, uh, one part per day of this out. This is kind of off the cusp. I didn't initially have this planned when I woke up this morning, but fuck it. So, air trick. Um, I think there's air trick up, air trick down. And I think that might be all of it. But it essentially allows you to dodge incoming attacks. So if something's going to attack me, I would, nine chances out of ten, probably trick up out of it or roll it. Uh, okay, I know what mission we're on. Let us go. Alright. Oh, that happened. Alright, so green orbs or health, red is currency, and I think white increases, or it gives you devil trigger. 
the uh, white ones are obviously more uncommon. I think there is an area up uh, coming up soon, actually, that uh, there uh, there were some white orbs. God damn it! I gotta remember where to fucking go. There we go. I'm well aware that I'm not talking a whole lot during fights. Only because I'm trying to get the, the, you know, the high score on each one. But every now and again shit happens. I either get hit or I fuck up a combo. Oh shit. Alright, we're going this way apparently. God fucking damn it. Oh, dude, I remember what the boss is for this. Uh, yeah. That'll probably be a good place to end it, actually. Alrighty, and we move. I'm actually going to charge Devil Trigger up. I'm probably going to end up using it for the boss fight anyways, so it's probably best I have it. Ah, uh, shit. More fights? What the fuck? What the fuck I'm doing there, Jesus. Holy. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you get a lot more uh, double trigger points the more stylish you are. It's either that or it has something to do with the focus gauge. Still not 100% sure on that. I'm pretty sure someone in the comments can correct me or elaborate on it. No, for fuck's sakes. Alright, whatever. Come on, dick fuck. Let's go. Alright, well I don't know what the fuck I was doing there. I fucked up like four different fucking combos. Oh my god, man. Today is just not my fucking day. Yeah, you want to make sure you hit that before you come in here. Or you're going to get in the fight and probably knock yourself out with it. Should be a fight here. So we've got full devil trigger now, so I can use that at any at any ugh, at any point.
No, sir. I'm good. All right. Now, the only unfortunate thing, I'm pretty sure that just drained the entirety of my double trigger. Yeah, it did. Fuck sakes. I should be able to fill it up before we hit the boss anyways. I'm not too concerned about it. Shouldn't be too much further anyways. Oh yeah, we're not that far away. We also get introduced to a new enemy type, the uh, Sin Scissor, I think is what they're called. These things can be a pain in the dick, too. I can't fucking see a thing, dude. Not what I wanted to do. God damn it. Tried to get off 13 kick there and it did not work. Actually, I gotta make sure I'm fucking naming what that move is correctly. I don't know if it's 13 kick or not. Um, where the fuck is it? God damn it, I don't remember. Oh no, it's in skill list. What the fuck am I doing? It would be a Beowulf move. Or kick 13. Okay, yeah, so it is correct. I was just saying it backwards. Go figure. I don't know if I'm going to have double trigger. Oh, dude, that's such bullshit. I'm so fucking close. I might be able to get it in the middle of the boss fight, though, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, fuck, what am I doing, man? Walking into walls and shit. Actually, there might be some white orbs around here, if I remember correctly. Uh, okay, never mind. Alright, boss fight time. is dead. Alrighty guys, I think that's going to do it for me today. Uh, feel, yeah, we're a little bit over the 30 minute mark, so I'm probably going to cut it there. Um, but again, thank you everybody who's watched. I'm going to obviously watch this back and make sure the audio levels are fine. Uh, and yeah, uh, expect another one tomorrow at some point. Uh, not exactly sure when. Again, this whole thing's been a kind of an off the cusp thing, but uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to y'all in the next one. Take care.